Welcome back everyone. This was supposed to be a review on the Gamo Big Cat 1400 which uses the same trigger and power plant as the Gamo Varmint Hunter HP, the Shawn Michaels edition, and the Whisper Fusion Pro in one other rifle, but we're having some technical difficulties. I have put over 210 pellets through this thing and it is just blistering out of the barrel and just everything going supersonic and uh, shooting the pellets all over the place. And I've tried cleaning it out and it's just, it's like there is a ton of excess lube behind the piston. And after this 200 shots, I noticed this. There is black grease oozing up between the receiver and the stock on both sides. You can also see it oozing up on this side. That has got to be a ton of lube back in there. The gun was not bought from Pyramid Air where I could just ship it back. It was bought from Big Shop Supply. And they need authorization from Gamo to return it, if I'm to return it to them. And I talked to Gamo, and they say, well, send it to us, and you'll get another one back in four to six weeks. And I've been toying with the idea of tearing it down and cleaning it out myself. But apparently, you cannot buy a piston seal for this thing. Gamo will not sell you one. They want to put it in themselves. So I'm going to work on this issue and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Well, since we had such a nice day today, beautiful blue skies, uh, it's getting late in the day, but we're going to get one last review done outdoors. So again, this is the Gamo Big Cat 1400. It's claimed at 1400 feet per second shooting their PBA 4.7 grain crap pellets. And they do not give a claim feet per second shooting lead pellets. This gun weighs 6.61 pounds, it's 44.7 inches long. This particular model comes with the smooth action trigger, the shock wave absorption uh, butt pad, and a 4x32 scope, which is very inadequate for a gun with this power. Uh, this particular gun shares the power plant and trigger with four other Gamo rifles. So we're really getting a performance review for five rifles. Aside from the Big Cat 1400, it's the same as the Gamo Varmint Hunter HP, the Gamo Bull Whisper Extreme, the Gamo Shawn Michaels Edition, and the Gamo Whisper Fusion Pro. It also shares the same stock as the Gamo Varmint Hunter and the Gamo Bull Whisper Extreme Air Rifles. The stock is the same on those three. The Shawn Michaels Edition uh, and the Whisper Fusion Pro have the new style stock. I really do like this style stock. It is very comfortable, especially from shooting from the bench. Uh, you know, it's really easy to grip and you know, it's a very hold sensitive rifle, but it did not take me too long to uh, get my hold down with this thing. Uh, I really and thoroughly enjoyed shooting this rifle from the bench. Now, the first rifle that we got, it was just spewing grease out all over the place. Uh, you can see a screw right here on each side. That's exactly where the grease was just oozing out. That rifle was shooting so hot, it was just unbelievable. It was so erratic. This one uh, came in quite quickly. Like I say, it is rated at 1400 feet per second, and uh, it gets its power from a 33 millimeter power plant versus 
I think the regular gambles are 29 millimeter power plant. Anyway, the rifle does not come with uh, any kind of open sights. It's got a polymer jacketed uh, barrel, composite stock. It's kind of a wide trigger area and it's really big down here so it, your hand is pretty much set in place and it's got an ambidextrous raised cheek piece and then it's got Gamble's uh, shockwave absorption butt pad where you can add or remove the inserts for uh, stability or give either way you want to do it Okay, the smooth action trigger uh, works pretty good. It's not match grade, but for general shooting, it's a very good trigger. And weighing only 6.61 .6 pounds, you do feel the recoil on this thing. Uh, they do have a heavier set of scope rings as far as the base is concerned. You get uh, two screws on the bottom of each scope ring to hold it to the uh, dovetail mount but only single one on the top of each one to hold the scope in place. I did not have any issues with the scope walking. I just had trouble seeing it 20 yards. It's, uh, that is the very outer limits of this scope's range is 20 yards. I think I would have had a much better uh, shot pattern with this thing had I used a better scope. But I decided to do it with the scope that came with it. Like I said, I really do kind of like shooting it from the bench. I, I was surprised, but it was really enjoyable. Well, we've seen the rifle. Uh, let's take a look at the power numbers, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll scroll down the uh, crony sheet, so if anybody wants to look up a particular pellet, they can just pause or backspace and go back and look at the numbers. Okay, now shooting with the worthless Gamo PBA 4.7 grain pellets that come with the rifle where they claim 1400 feet per second. The low of 1076 feet per second. Ha ha ha. A high of 1248, average of 1154, extreme spread was 171.7 feet per second, standard deviation 75.1, and a measly 13.9 foot pounds of muscle energy. That is really laughable. Now shooting a quality alloy pellet, the RWS Hypermax 5.29 grain, had a low of 1,291, a high of 1,310 feet per second, uh, average of 1,303, or extreme spread of 19.16, standard deviation 7.64, generating 19.61 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Now if you calculate that backwards, 19.61 foot-pounds of energy versus a 4.7 grain pellet, to achieve that, that pellet would have to travel 1,370 feet per second. So the gun's got the energy, but the pellets don't. I don't know where Gamble comes up with the pellets that uh, they use to come up with that claim. Maybe they got a special machine that poops out magic pellets that work. Now, sh I believe it's rated at 1,100 feet per second shooting lead pellets, shooting the RWS Hobbies, 7 grain, low of 1125, a high of 1150, average of 1135, that generated 20.03 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. And if you calculate the muzzle energy from that shot right there, that would be over 20.5 foot-pounds of muzzle. Okay, our most powerful pellet that you would shoot, JSB Diablo exact match, 8.44 grain. Low of 1019, high of 1046, average 1031, 19.93 foot-pounds muzzle energy. Our most consistent pellet, H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme 9.26 grain, low of 
979.4, high of 984, average 981.3, 4.62 foot per second extreme spread, standard deviation 1.73, and 19.81 foot pounds muzzle energy. So this gun does deliver reasonably on power. Well, I saw a claim of 20.56 foot-pounds of muzzle energy uh, on, I think it was Pyramid Air, and this rifle actually did come pretty close to that. I, we got the highest uh, muzzle energy reading we got was 19.93. That's not all that far off the claim. Uh, unfortunately, the pellet that uh, gave us that was not one of the more accurate pellets but one of the most accurate pellets, probably the most accurate pellet. We actually had 19.81 foot pounds of muscle energy. And now uh, that the aerial plane is uh, downwind of us, uh, let's uh, take a look at the uh, accuracy test and, uh, and then we'll sum things up. Okay, I experimented with my hold. This is the H&N Barracuda Match 10.65 grain. That's about, I'd say, under three quarters of an inch. And then up top, we have the H&N Barracuda Hunter. We got four of them you can cover with a dime and one high. And then we have the H&N Field Target Trophy, uh, 8.64 grain. They actually all hit up here. Then we got the H&N Crow Magnum 9.26 grain, a little bit wider pattern. And here we have the Beeman Silver Arrow 10.65 grain. Right here we have the JSB Match Diablo Exact 8.44 grain. And then down here we have the H&M Barracuda Hunter Extreme 9.26 grain. I shot one the first one high but the other four are half the size of a dime so i think it's kind of really between three pellets see okay we will be shooting from 20 yards the left target will be h and n barracuda match 10.65 grain with the 4.53 millimeter head Center will be the H&N Barracuda Hunter, 10.34 grain. And the right will be the H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme, 9.26 grain. Now that's the size of a quarter and fold one outside. It's almost impossible to use a magnum springer and not do that. These, we've got a much bigger pattern. Unbelievably, three, I'll have to review the, the film, but it looks like three pellets all in the same hole and then I pulled these two left. Uh, that's amazing if uh, I got all three in that one hole. You can see it's a much more jagged hole than the, those are clean and that one's been ripped out by three different pellets. So, three pellets in one spot. Uh, as you can see, the rifle has a tendency to be accurate, uh, as accurate as the shooter can be. If you hold this thing right, it can be a, just a real tack driver. And if you have, muss it all with your hold it's going to throw it off. The uh, H&M Barracuda Hunter Extreme uh, even though I've got a over an inch pattern or maybe up to an inch pattern three pellets went through the same hole. That's pretty incredible. I mean it didn't even enlarge the hole it went through the same hole. 
So that is how accurate the rifle can be. I'm really kind of PO'd at Gamo because I really do like shooting this rifle, you know, for a 177 caliber. It's just, if you like to work on your own air rifles, this is not going to be one of them. You cannot buy parts for this gun anywhere. Not a piston seal, not a breech seal, uh, not a sear for the trigger, nothing. Only accessories, you know, only add-ons. They refuse to sell parts to repair shops or the general public. You've got to send the rifle into them to get it fixed. There's somebody out there making piston seals for the regular uh, Gamo products, but not for the extreme versions with the 33 millimeter uh, power plant. So for that, I really kind of got to curse Gamo. I would guess this rifle to be at roughly uh, 32 to 35 pounds cocking effort. It does not feel anywhere near 41 pounds cocking effort. Uh, I'll say it's our most accurate pellet gave us 19.81 uh, foot-pounds of muzzle energy and that's more than enough to take out some pretty healthy critters. Uh, and it can be accurate. I haven't tried shooting it from the shoulder yet. Uh, generally, it's easier to shoot a uh, lighter rifle from the shoulder than it is a heavier rifle. So maybe I'll give that a try tomorrow. I'm waiting on some more pellets that'll come in tomorrow and uh, I'll add the numbers onto the review as a, as a footnote uh, on the video after it's posted with the pellets I'm get waiting on tomorrow. This gun sells for an average of $195. Uh, the Shawn Michaels edition I saw everywhere for $199.99 and all of a sudden today I see it for $179.95 at uh, uh, Pyramid Air. And also, I forgot to give a big thank you for uh, Big Supply Shop. This rifle, including handling and shipping and everything, was only $170. So that's $25 less than anybody else. So I really like dealing with those people. They're great. The Barman Hunter HP sells for $259.95 on average. That's what it's up to now. I think it's been at $249.95 uh, most places. They just upped the price on it. The Bull Whisper Extreme $259.95. That at least comes with a 3 to 9 by 40 adjustable objective scope. And the Whisper Fusion Pro the most expensive, $279.95, also comes with a 3 to 9 by 40 adjustable tick scope. You know, for the 170 I paid for this rifle, yeah, it was a good deal. The 194.95, not such a good deal. The Shawn Michaels edition, which is Pyramid Air, has got it down to 179.95. I might consider that. It's got the same power plant, same trigger, same scope and the uh, same uh, butt pad. Should be about the same weight. I've got to say, yeah, it's a good gun because I just thoroughly enjoy the stock on this gun. It's so easy to get your hand around and uh, get, or get the rifle real steady shooting from the bench. And I have no doubt that if I put a better scope on it, you know, I could take it out in the woods and do some serious damage on squirrels just shooting from the shoulder. Anyway, I really like dealing with a uh, big supply shop. You know, I got a really good price on this. I happened to get the last one of these, but I saw some great deals on a few other rifles. Uh, you know, they got a really good price on the Whisper CFR and a couple of other rifles that, uh, you know, they were anywhere from 30 to $60 less than the other retailers. So, you know, look up Big Supply Shop online and uh, 
take a look at their rifles. Not all of them are the cheapest, but they've got an awful lot of good deals. This is the third rifle I bought from them. Gotta love it. Anyway, I like the rifle. I'm going to keep the rifle. Uh, I'm going to put a better scope on it. Do a little shooting. It's a little bit noisier. It sounds louder than the decibel readings I'm getting. You know, shooting the alloy ammunition, yeah, I'm getting uh, 111, 112 decibels. Shooting lead pellets, the decibel meter is uh, right around 98 decibels, 97.8 to 98.2. It sounds louder than that because of the, the loud spring. I'm not hearing a twang, it just sounds louder than that. Uh, you know, some rifles are putting up high numbers and they don't sound that loud. This one doesn't register that loud on the sound meter, but it's loud to my ears. I call it a medium loud. Anyway, I think if you can get the rifle at a good price, you'll really enjoy it. You know, you buy it from a big supply shop when they get another supply in, probably mid November, it'll leave you some money to buy a better scope for it. So, uh, put it on your wish list and uh, have fun shooting.